I converted my Telegram to a Photoshop AI with this add and system. I can add elements to an image, I can subtract elements from an image, I can replace any object in an image and not only this, also I can do the graphic designing stuff. For example, I can do logo mockups in my products, I can make posters by just only giving a reference image and all of the things those are related with uh, image generation or image edit, I can do this from my Telegram. So let me show you a quick demo how it works and after that I will show you how you can do this and all the rest of the stuffs that are needed for this project. So to start the work only have to open my telegram like this and I can see this is the photoshop agent or you can say the photoshop AI and here I only have to give the image that I want to edit or you can say the reference image what I want to do with that. So I have to just click here and then I'll just give the image. So I'll just go with this image. So you can see this is me and this kind of like the outfit, a jersey, a MTV goggles, a pant and like a pair of shoes and a MTV. So what I want that I'm wearing this exact outfit and riding this exact MTV in a top of a mountain, something like this. So that's why I just go with this prompt so you can see this is a prompt and then i just go with send here you can see like this ai system started to work and right now it will soon do the thing that i just really needed and you can see the image generation has been done and this is the generated image which is really cool right you can see that that's literally amazing this is me wearing the exact outfit that i just given and also this is the exact bicycle and as i said i'm just riding that mtb on just in the top of a mountain in a like a very adventurous place and you can see that the image generation is absolutely crazy right if you're a hello ai community member you can find this exact workflow in the hello ai community in the classroom section and then you have to just go in the lesson number 50 just click that and you'll get all of the assets related with this today's video so you can see here's all of the things if you want to edit that you can just go with this and not only this i just made this thing more simple so here's the exit workflow only have to just click in the resources section and i can see this is the workflow only have to download that in my device okay and then you have to come to and and again then in the workflow section you have to just go in the three dots then you have to just go with the import from file then you have to choose the file that you downloaded that's it then you can see this is the things will just come up in front of you so then you have to set up something in here by the way guys if you're not a community member no worries for you I'll just describe you everything in front of you so that like if you can do these things you can do this by yourself okay so at the first let me just set up uh, the telegram you can see this is the telegram we're using so what you have to do I just kind of like click in the telegram and there you can see that that's the telegram that it looks like so at the first I'll just go in the create new credential and here you have to give the access token at the first how can you get the access token it's very easy you have to come to your telegram and then you have to come in the search bar and search your bot further like this you can see this is the bot further and with the blue tick and this is the you know the authentic ones and you have to create a bot in here that's very easy and if you don't know that how to do that there is an exact video of mine i shown that long ago how you can just create a bot inside your telegram and how you can add that with your anytime okay and after the creating the bot you have to uh, get the access token then you have to give the access token in here that's it very simple and very easy so then what you have to do is we have to add the cloud in here and by the way while you're using cloud in here we have to upload the image that we're just getting to a server so that's why using cloud Inary, okay so that we can actually get the image as a url format so what you have to do is you have to come to cloudinary by the way cloudinary is free no worry for that so you can just go in the cloudinary like this and if you never use cloudinary before obviously you have to create an account inside cloudinary that's all you have to do then make sure that you're just in the setting section and inside the setting section you have to just go in the api keys and they are will actually kind of like get all the stuffs so what we need in here if you just came here in the and again so you can see we need the cloud name the upload preset name and also the cloud generic api key or you can say the cloud generic api secret the first thing we need is the cloud name because if we just kind of like click in here cloud generic so in here you can see that in the url section i actually need the cloud name so what you have to do is i have to come here a uh, section of api keys so this is the api keys there is the cloud name of mine so this is the cloud name all i just kind of like click here and just copy this thing then i just came to it and again in the place of cloud name i just give the cloud name of mine like this here you can see this is the cloud name that it looks like okay and then i have to give the upload preset name so yeah you can see that uh, in the place of upload preset i have to give the upload preset name all i have to do is just came here again and then i have to just go in the upload section so 
uh, again if you never use cloud runner before you have to create a upload preset at the first what you have to do just go with the add upload preset then you have to just give a simple name and after that make sure that the signing mode is unsigned then you have to just go with save so as you can see i have already bunch of upload presets in here so i just go with the first one just to show you just click here copy then just came here then just remove the previous thing you cloud preset name like this then just give the cloud preset of yours like this okay then the next thing you need to give is the api secret so we actually need the api secret not the api key so what you have to do you have to just kind of like go in the visualize then they will send you a four digit or five digit code to a gmail then give the code in here then this thing will be visualized for you just copy the api secret then very simple in the place of your api secret just give the api secret that you copy it very easy okay the rest of the stuffs we don't need to do anything okay that's what we're doing in here and the second thing we have to do is we have to add the cdream in here okay by the way if you never use cdream before cdream 4.0 is a great image generation model and in our case we're actually using cdream 4.0 instead of using google's nano banana and cdream 4.0 is uh, from tiktok or you can say the parent company of tiktok by dance they launched that recently just kind of like seven days or eight days ago so we have to use cdream 4.0 through a third party tool you can say Kai API or something like this. They're like multiple platforms. Uh, they actually give the Citrium 4.0, but we're actually using Kai API because that's the best platform for me. I think that. Okay. So what I have to do here, you can just go in the Kai API, just click in the orange thing like this, and the Kai API just will be pop up in front of you. And if you never used Kai API before, obviously you have to create an account with your Google or something like this. So here you can see I already created the account. So what I have to do, I have to just come in my profile, then just go with the dashboard section. Okay, so I can see I already have some credits. Cause Kai API is not free, you have to add some balance, and based on that, they'll just kind of like give you some credits. And based on that, you can generate videos or just generate images. Okay, so in here I only need the Kai API, or just you can say the API key of the Kai AI so what you have to do i just came here kai api again and in the dashboard i only have to just go with the api key and here you can see that's the api key of mine so i just kind of like copy that and then i just came in the switching 4.0 again and then in the place of authorization you can see so in the place of value after the bearer you can see i have to give the api key so in the place of your api key i just delete the your api key part like this and make sure that after the bearer there's a one single space then you have to paste the api key and after pasting the api key in here again you have to give the same api key in the place of get the image url you can see after the cdream 4.0 that the get image url just double click that then this thing will just pop up and again in the place of authorization you can see there's the bearer and after the bearer there's a single space then your api key delete that then paste the exact api key that you get from kai ai that's it after that make sure that you kind of like save this thing and this thing is ready to go okay so let me kind of like describe you everything how i did that and how you can do this if you want to do this by yourself okay so this is the thing we actually used that a uh, little bit earlier okay i showed you in the intro part so what it did at the first i added my telegram and through my telegram i'm actually giving the image so let me just kind of like double click in my telegram trigger so i can see i actually given a image and also i actually given a caption and the caption is actually containing the prompt of the image and the image or like you can say the files as you can see the file id in here they're like three file id photo one photo two and photo three we're actually going with the photo three and photo three is in the highest resolution and we can't see this image because this image is right now inside telegram and we have to download the image then we can see that so what you have to do is in here as you can see that i actually used the edit field so that like i can actually add the things in uh, the rest of the places so that's why i just used a simple edit fields so let me show that what i did in the place of edit fields if you don't use the edit fields no worries but if you use the edit field it will be uh, just easy for you to set up so that's why i use that so in the place of chat id what i did in here i actually get the chat id you can see that that's the chat option the id of my given this thing in the chat id and also in the place of file id I actually go in with the lost image because this is the highest resolution so that's why i just kind of like go with the file id and in the place of file id 
I given the file ID like this. Very easy. So then what I did in here, I used a get a file for Telegram because as I say, the image right now inside a Telegram and I have to download the image or you can say I have to get the image. For that, I'm using a get a file for Telegram. So I can see what I did in the place of file ID. Actually, given the file ID that I described, or you can say I that I filtered by using edit field. So I just kind of like giving the file ID in this place, and I'm actually getting the image that last time I uploaded with my Telegram. So this is all the things you can see that. So the rest of the things what I did in here, as I showed you that I actually set up the Cloudinary because I have to upload the image to Cloudinary or like in a server so that I can get the image as a URL format. I can directly give the image as a binary file. To Citrim 4.0, so that's why I'm actually doing this process. So let me just kind of like open the Cloudinary setup. So that's how they look like. This is the post method I'm using. There's the URL, and that's the actually all the things. Okay, the body content, how it looks like. Okay, in the body, I'm just giving kind of like four things. Okay, this is the uh, upload preset. This is the you know kind of like API keys. This is the annotated and binary file. So yeah, in the place of annotated and binary file in the input section. I'm actually giving the binary name in here then what's gonna happen it kind of like upload in a server so it's right now in internet in live so in my own folder in cloudinary so here you can see this is the url if i kind of like go in the url i can see the image and as you can see it's uploaded in a server as i say so i'm actually getting the thing and right now I have to go with the step 3. So in the step 3, I have to go with the most important thing and here I have to go with the image generation, the image edit, whatever you say. So in the first, I'm actually using the Seedream 4.0 and here you can see inside the Seedream 4.0, that's how this, the things look like. As I said, I'm using Kai API or you can say Kai AI to get access to Seedream 4.0 and these are the things in here by the way let me say something that for one image generation or for only one image process uh Citrine 4.0 just takes almost four credits and with five dollars i can get one thousand credits so it's mean that with five dollars only i can generate image or i can process image for 250 times and that's very cheap right okay so that's why i used kai api in here it's not a promotional video by the way so the method is post and this is the url it looks like and in the place of api key you can see there's authorization and there's the api section and in the place of send body what i did in here i actually given a very simple json code so let me just open the json code so here you can see this is the json code or you can see this is the json format it looks like and in the right section you can see how the things looks like for this uh Kai API or you can see the Shedrim 4.0 and that's how it actually get all the contents. This is the prompt and this is the image URL uh, that we uploaded and also you can change something for example I like can change the resolution or you can change this to 1k to 2k or also you can uh, go with like 4k also you can just uh, change the image size you can go with portrait landscape something like this whatever image resolution goes with the best whatever image size goes with the best do with these things in here and rest of the stuff so you don't have to do anything okay so that's what it's just getting and in here it's kind of like giving us a success message and also it kind of like giving us a task id and a record id and here the message success doesn't mean that the image generation is completed it actually means that the image generation just started and what do you have to do obviously we have to wait a little bit in here so that's what what i'm doing in here i kind of like uh, just check a little bit with the generation check that is it giving me a success or not doesn't give me a success message it's mean the image generation is not possible for Citrine 4.0 it's mean the image generation has failed so that's why I used in here and another branch with like edit my telegram okay, so that I can understand that something has problem in my annotation and I can fix that so in this case the image generation was success then it have to wait a little bit as I said so in the waiting period I used in here 20 seconds okay for the first time as you can see it waited but it doesn't give me the results for that like it actually waited for the second time again so you can understand that uh, it just waited for 40 seconds so that's what it's really happening in here okay what is really happening at the first it actually doesn't give me the image and in here we're actually using the get the image url as i showed you what you have to do in here just this is the url and that's the api key and what it really do is this thing again related with Kai API because after just you know generating the image this thing actually pull up the image as a URL so as I said first time it actually doesn't get the result you can see that first time the result JSON is empty but the second time 
the result json is not empty it actually getting the generated image if i kind of like go with this url i can see the image is uploaded automatically by uh, student 4.0 in another server so we don't have to do anything with this image okay it's uploaded already in the server that's really good right so here you can see it's kind of like giving us the image and here i just kind of like go with the if check so that's what i define that if the real json is not empty uh, you have to just go in the true branch and if the real json is empty then you have to just go in the false branch and the false branch will just kind of like go here again wait for 20 seconds then just it will just kind of like as a loop it'll just work like this so the second time you actually uh, get the real json or you can see the real url so that's why in here i kind of like used a simple javascript code why i'm using the simple javascript code i actually need the uh, generated image url in very neat and clean format you can see it's kind of like very messy and by using this simple code i'm actually getting the image url like this and that's all, all i need i only need the image url i don't need the bunch of the things in here they're like bunch of things right so this is the image url or like you can say the generated image url and then i'm sending the image url in the step four where i am downloading the image in the annotation because i have to uh the image you are seeing in a server that's it for like temporary time for example like for five minutes for 10 minutes it will be in a server after that it will be automatically deleted by cdream 4.0 so that's what i have to download the image in annotate so what i'm doing in here i just kind of like download the image in here i just use the very get method and that's in the place of url i'm actually giving the image like this and that's why i'm actually getting the image you can see this is the image right now it's downloaded in annotate so what i'm doing at the first i'm actually using a send a photo message node of telegram and that's why i'm actually getting as you saw that so what i'm doing in here i actually go with the operation send photo and in the place of chat id we have to give the chat id and as you saw that we actually define the chat id already by using an edit field so i only have to just kind of like open the edit field then i have to just give the chat id like this and that's what we have to do and make sure that the binary file is open and in the place of input binary field you can see it's actually data because in the download image you can see under the data file name this is actually the generated image so that's why you used in your data name so that's it guys that's how you can set up all the stuff and at the last you have to do the most important thing what you have to do is you have to just go with the uh, from inactive to activate it like this so right now our ai system is activated so only you have to go to the telegram then you have to just give the image then you have to give the prompt that's all it is you don't have to come to anything again just believe me just i kind of like stop all of my anything like this even my uh just the device that i'm using anything is not uh available in the internet or like whatever it is anything is activated in the cloud by anything okay so that we don't have to come to anything ever again only have to just give the image then have to give the prompt and based on that the anything system will just run in the cloud and it will give us the uh result you can do this from your mobile phone you can do this from your laptop on your from your mac whatever you use so that's it guys uh, if you need this channel make sure to give a like and a subscribe to the channel uh, inshallah you'll find more values especially in the fields of ai ai agents and automations and if you're looking forward to join in a community to learn ai foster i encourage you to join hello ai uh, so that's it guys have a nice day peace